Hello and welcome subscribers, thank you very much for joining me on this video. We're going to be looking at appreciated silver coins. So uh, what I've done is, these are all one ounce bullion. Um, I've had a look in regards to how much I paid for them and how much they're selling for on eBay. So therefore we can get a, uh, an idea of what sort of profits we can expect on these coins. These are all 2018 coins. There's no 2019s in here, just to try and... Um, show exactly if you hold on to silver a little bit longer how you can expect to get those gains um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to see the calculations see what the profit is um, stay obviously watch through the video stay till the end um, we're going to have a look at the gold and silver ratio based on this format um, and then also I've got two coins that we're going to have a look at in regards to which one held the most value and uh, which one um, I wouldn't say which one was the least um, the least value out of all of these so um, let's get straight into it. So we're going to start off with the Kruger Round. This is the 2018. This one here. I've got it, all my coins are encapsulated here. Nice effigy there of Paul Kruger on the back. Very nice piece, very attractive. Let's say the prices tend to be on the lower side. You tend to get a lower premium on these. So what we're looking at is I paid €15.65 Euro for this. So if you do the conversion into US dollars, it's 1.13. Uh, that amount times by 1.13 will give you the dollar amount. Now, um, what they're selling for on eBay, um, what I've done is I've, I've had a look through all of them there. We're looking at about €20. Euros. That's probably around $21, $22. Um, as far as €23, Euros, which I think is probably about $25. And these are sold. These are not just what's selling, what has actually sold. So um, that creates a profit of roughly about €5. Euros. That's probably just under $6 profit um, if you were to sell this today. So versus its bullion spot price, if you were to put this on eBay, you can effectively make that sort of profit margin. So that is the first one there. That's the Kruger end. Okay, so we're going to get into the next one. Is the 2018. It's the Kookaburra. That's this one here. A beautiful coin from the Perth Mint. It's a 2018, four nines fine, and comes encapsulated automatically from the Perth Mint. One dollar face value, legal legal tender. Now I paid for this, I paid 17 euro and 30 cents for this um, bullion coin uh, last year. Um, what they're selling for and what they're sold for on eBay, there's there's quite a bit of a difference here. So we've got um, the lowest I've seen this selling for is 22 euros, and the highest I've seen it selling for is 30, uh, which would net you quite a nice profit. However, I'm working on the lower values currently at the minute, but you can go out there, you can see how much these coins are selling for, or sold for rather than selling. Um, so you know, I bagged bagged me about a five uh, five euro profit, which is probably just under six dollars. Um, Nice piece, that's the Kookaburra. Uh, the next one we're going to be looking at is the American Silver Eagle. This is the 2018 ASE. Inverted. There it is. Uh, what I paid for this, I paid 16.76 last year, 16 euro and 76 cents. Um, it's probably about 17, 17.50 American dollars. Um, what this, what they've sold for on eBay, um, again, there's quite a broad range in between 19, 39 euros. So 19 euro and 39 cents up to as far as 28 euros, which is near on $30 for this. So minimum profit, I'm looking at uh, three euros uh, to a maximum there of maybe 10, 12 euros per coin. So this is a 2018. So what you could do is you can capitalize on this is that you can consider selling this one, the 2018, take the profit out. Obviously then you can buy the 2019 piece and then you can bag that profit. And I'm going to explain exactly what we're, what point we're getting to here. So that's the, uh, that's the ASC. That's the one ounce. Very nice piece. Uh, then we've got the dragon and Tiger piece. This is from the Perth Mint. You can see the dragon there on the right. So you got the tiger on the left with the flaming pearl in the middle. There's the back, beautiful. 
A lot of people tend to consider this reverse proof. Australia, $1, 2018 piece. This is an interesting one. I paid €28.70 Euros 70 cents for this, um, which is probably around 30, I think it's $31 um, American. And what they've sold for on eBay is they've sold between 39 and 56 euros a coin. So if you paid 28 euros uh, 70, I'm looking at minimum here, I'm looking at least 10 euro profit on this, um, up to 56, which is basically double. So <laughs> there's there's quite an enormous profit here. But again, we're just looking at the lower the lower profit margin for now. So that's a very very nice piece. Get those up there. All right, the next one we're looking at is the Silver Maple Leaf, the 2018. Uh, for those that missed out, I did a 2019 Silver Maple Leaf review. I'm going to put the eye up here. You'll see the review pop up. You can check that out in case you missed that. And you can see the other how it's rated with the, all the other bullion coins. But um, this is the 2018 version and pretty much the same as the 2019, just with the exception of the dates and the laser etched maple right, what I paid for this one is I paid 15 euros 69 cents which is probably around just over probably 1650 American US and this they've sold for between 22 and 30 euros a coin that's massive so that's that's potentially it's a five euro return a minimum uh, with up to you're probably looking at maybe doubling perhaps doubling your money. So again, that is massive for something that is a bullion coin. So there's obviously, a, there's a fair amount of people out there that are collecting the dates. At least that's my perception of it. But um, stay tuned till the end because uh, we're going to have a look at the ratio based on this. So let's check this out. Okay, so there it is there. So that's the maple leaf. Um, nice profit on that one too. Uh, the, the next one is the Athenian Owl. That's this one here. I haven't seen too many of these. This was a nice cheap bullion coin. I did a uh, separate video on this when I did comparisons between the uh, the premiums. I'll uh, include the video up here as well. You'll see it on the list. You're welcome to check that out. It's a fairly old one, but it had the lowest premium out of all the bullion coins. Uh, so it just goes, if, if a coin's popular, the premium's gonna be higher. If it's not that popular, the premium's gonna be low because they just wanna sell them. But anyway, I paid 15.64 for this, uh, 15 euro 64 cents for this coin. Um, it's sold for on eBay between 21 and up to 28 euros a coin. So again, you've got a potential there of at least a minimum of a five euro profit. And um, that's probably around f just under $6 profit. And then you're looking at up to 13 euro profit, probably $15 profit maybe, which I think is phenomenal. And these are officially sold coins on eBay. So uh, these are not what's selling, it's what's sold. So that's another interesting coin there. So we're at, we're at six, we've got four more. Um, the next one we're going to look at is the Britannia. So this is the 2018 Standard Britannia. This is, uh, there's no pretty marks, so it's just a standard uh, version. Beautiful. Jody Clark effigy on the back. Nicely, a nice, attractive coin. So this is quite an interesting one as well. Paid fifteen eighty one for this coin when it came out, fifteen euros and eighty one cent, uh, which is probably just under, it's probably sixteen fifty dollars somewhere around there. Um, it's sold on eBay for twenty four, up to twenty seven for the standard bullion coin. So don't get confused with the privy marks because you also get ones that are that are privy marked. But this this means that you can, you can you'll easily net a good eight euro profit, which is high, considering, uh, and you might even be lucky enough to to gain that up to twelve, depending on you know you might need to wait a little bit longer to get to get that sort of profit. But um, I thought that was very interesting. So that pretty much the Britannia outdid the ASC from a profit perspective, uh, out of what's been sold. Um, so that's the Britannia. Um, the next one we're going to be looking at, which I think is one, definitely one of my favourites, is the Noah's Ark. And we're going to look into this coin a bit later on as well. Um, so um, this is the 2018. This is the one, uh, was it the one, 500 dram? One ounce, 2018 coin. Beautiful. And a very much proof-like coin. You've got the Noah's Ark design there on the back. Um, 
I guess that's probably the bird of peace there. And you've got the Noah's Ark there, the sea, the detailing, the sun strike on the back. Just a great coin. Um, this one was very interesting. This was, I bought this when it came out, it was €15.54. It was a very cheap coin uh, last year. And um, the only, I can only, I can only see them. First of all, there's not that many. And uh, the, I saw that the the cheapest it was selling for, sold for on it on eBay was twenty eight to thirty two euros a coin. That is massive. So we're looking at a minimum of ten euro profit. Sorry, uh, beg your pardon. No, thirteen euros profit. So we've got thirteen euro profit there. Um, up to doubling your money easily, just for this coin. So I thought that was a very interesting one. We're going to come back to that one shortly. All right, so we've only got a, we've got a few more left here. So the next one we're going to look at is the Philharmonics. That's this one here. This is the 2018. Everyone knows the Philharmonics. Right, so th these are fairly cheap coins as well. So we would probably think, yeah, the margin's probably not going to be that great on these. Right, so the one ounce Philharmonic I bought bought for fifteen euro and thirty seven cents. It's just over sixteen dollars. Um, I've seen it sold for on eBay was twenty one to twenty three. That that was pretty much the cap. Um, there's there's a fair amounts on there that are selling for high well that are advertised on eBay for higher amounts, but only people are watching them. No one's actually bought them. But the sold values, I say, there's a high potential there between twenty one to twenty three euros. That's probably around twenty four, twenty five dollars. Um, that would net me a profit of around minimum. You're probably looking at about five euros, five euro profit. Now, don't forget, I'm, I'm not including uh, PayPal payments um, or the PayPal fees, eBay, um, PayPal, eBay fees. I haven't included any of that in these profits yet. We're just looking at the at the practical value of it. Right, so that's about a five euro. So there's a fair amount of bullion coins here that would net you a good five euro profit. Right, so we're going to put that one down. So we're going to have a look at the final. This is the finale. This is the one that has made the most money for me. And it's pretty I didn't buy more. It's the Germania, one ounce. This is just a standard BU coin. I bought this for €21.76 when it was first released. Now, um, I can't find them cheaper than €39.76. Um, they're, they're going from... They're, sold for on ebay between 39.76 to 52 euros um a coin so that's a substantial return so that's you've almost almost turned 100 percent profit I've, I've marked the the profit down here about 18 euros per coin which i thought was phenomenal so this this is the this is the top coin out of the whole lot here uh for the, for the 2018 that, that will return you the most money now i know some some stackers out there have bought these in rolls some have bought 20 rolls, uh, sorry, 20 rolls, um, a coin roll of 20. So you can just imagine what sort of profit margin you're looking at there. Um, if you'd bought 20 uh, and sold them, let's just say if you sold 40 of them, um, so if you had two um, two rolls at 20, you'd be looking at 800 euro um, value or return. And then what you can do is you can still buy, you can obviously take profit out of that, or you can turn it to something else, which we're going to discuss shortly. Um, right, so it was that my, my pretty much my on in regards to these coins. The, this was another one. This was an interesting one. I haven't included it for obvious reasons, which I'll just I'll go into now. This is the Somali. This is the African Wildlife Series. Uh, it's the elephant. This is the 2018 coin. Oddly enough, I couldn't find any sold pieces on eBay. Um, there's a lot of people watching them. So I don't know if they're if people have put them on and they're trying to get more like sort of higher value out of them, but there doesn't seem to be much market for this on eBay, oddly enough. And I think it's quite an attractive piece. It's um, very much like proof like, um, with the background, and uh, you've got some frosted detail or matte finish detail, and likewise with the back. It's a nice attractive coin, but I couldn't I couldn't find any that were actually sold. So that's a very interesting one. Um, and back to the Noah's Ark. This one I found was very interesting. There wasn't a lot of these on eBay. I think I saw probably around three sellers selling the 2018s. 
Um, so there doesn't seem to be a lot of these, which means you could capitalize on that in regards to money. So if you have a lot of these, um, you can, I think I said there, the profit margin I got out of that was 10 euro. Um, if we have a look at the, that was arc, yeah, it was 13, it was 13 euros minimum. And it could, you could even almost double your money in some cases. So you could actually, <laughs> if you've got 2018s, you could sell them. Take the profit, put it aside, buy the 2019 coin, and then take your profit and and put it to one side, which we're going to discuss shortly. So that is uh, that is probably my pick in regards to what's on eBay, or limited uh, limited ability. If someone has a fair amount of these, check on eBay, see what they uh, what they've sold for, and if you're thinking offloading, definitely you've got a, there's a good potential there to make some profit on this. Um, please check the disclaimer though as well. You know it's. You, it's your decision to, to sell but you know there's an opportunity there to increase your stack and we're going to take a look at the ratio based on this in a minute so okay we're going to put that one aside and that one there so we've got our essentially our 10 coins there with the exception of the uh, wildlife elephants which we put up put to one side now we're going to look at the ratio so if we look at the germania we'll start off with the germania first if I were to sell that for, let's say, 40 euros, which seems definitely seems easy, so we're going to take that one aside. So if I had, if I had 30 of these, um, essentially that cost me, is that 30 times by 20? That would have been 600. That would have cost me 600 euros, roughly, thereabouts, when I uh, when this coin came out. Um, if I took the same amount, I could double my money so which means then I could turn it into 1200 euros uh, what that also means is if I had 30 of these I could buy myself an ounce of gold so when the gold and silver ratio is currently uh, closer to the 90 mark um, we um, if you had a substantial amount of these what you could do is you could offload 30 sell them up and get yourself an ounce of gold which means that the if you're buying the right coins you can you can bring that gold and silver ratio down and you can maximize your potential in regards to your profit. Um, so this is one here. This is a one ounce silver. It's the Prote it's the Germania. If you had 30 of these, you sold them off, you make your 40 euro profit, you can buy an ounce of gold. Pretty interesting, huh? So you know, people go out there and they say, yeah, there's no money in silver. Well, <laughs> I tell you what, if you're buying the right coins, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're buying, if you're just buying rounds to, to, for your foundation and your stack, they are just going to be worth spot value, um, with the exception of certain limited rounds, which I've, uh, I've done reviews on. Uh, but um, if you're just looking at a foundation stack of bullion, um, your normal silver rounds, they're just going to be worth spots. But if you're able to invest in certain coins that are going to give you the returns, then what you can do is you can take that, put get those returns out, put them to one side, and you can slowly start building up your gold stack just by taking the profits out of these coins. So if we have a look, I've got these 10 coins here. So if we have a look at my uh, total margin or profit margin, if I sold all these 10 coins here um, and bought, bought, bought back the 2019 uh, coin, I'd net a profit of 77 euros. Yeah, so 77 euro profit equals about 87 uh, US dollars. Now um, you could, with that profit margin, so straight away you could pick up a twentieth, a twentieth of an ounce, a twentieth of an ounce of gold, just by selling these ten coins here. Um, so that is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, okay, it's a twentieth of an ounce. It's not going to be much, but you can obviously then sell the individual coins, take that seventy-seven euro, your eighty-seven dollars, put that to one side, put that in a nice little little bank, get the twenty nineteen version. Um, with that, um, don't forget that's just the profit based on the margin what you paid for it. Um, and then you can put that aside and you can create a gold stack just with, just with your profit. Yes, it's going to take longer. That's one way to do it. Otherwise, you can, for instance, if you had 30 of the Germanias, then you could uh, possibly look at um, um, selling the 30 Germanias, and then you'd have a 30 to 1 ratio based on the gold. If you had, in regards to the Noah's Ark, which I mentioned earlier, this is the interesting one, is there an issue? It was cheap last year, so if you bought a substantial amount of these, you'd have quite a nice good return. Um, I've roughly worked out there. If you had 40 of these, you could turn this into an ounce of gold just by having 40. So we've got the Germania here. 
with roughly 30. And then you've got the Noah's Ark here, which is if you had 40 of these based on what you could return on by selling them on eBay. I'm not saying it might take a while because obviously, first of all, there's not many available on eBay. So you might sell these ones quicker. Um, so you could, if you had 40 of these, you could sell them there for, let's say, 30 euros a piece. But obviously, obviously taking your fees. So again, you might need to add a couple of a couple of extra, maybe 32, 33 to make up for the fees. But still, that is a, a much lower margin for the gold ratio. So we've got those two there. Okay, let's take another look at another example. Another interesting coin is the Britannia. I think we were talking about we were talking good profit returns on the Britannia. So what we're looking at here is if you were to if you had 50 of these and you sold them for 25 euros a piece, that would net you about 1,250 euros. That's probably around 1,300 uh, US dollars. So the gold uh, price currently is 14 uh, sorry 1,143 euros. If you had 50 of these you could then turn that into gold, one ounce of gold, and then you should have some money left for your fees as well. But um, again, you could add one or two to that. Yeah, so you could just add one or two extra just to cover your fees really. But um, so it is definitely possible to turn your silver into gold, but not necessarily on such a huge ratio. And that pretty much brings the video to an end. Um, I thought I'd just throw those three. Again, you can uh, see how the margins go depending on the other ones. Um, another close one there was the... Another close one was the Tiger and the Dragon from the Perth Mint. Now, obviously, this one is essentially... It was high premium to start with. However, they, uh, the selling values or the sold values are much higher. So, for instance, if you had, it would be very similar to the Germania. So if you had um, where were we forty, if you had sorry, if you had thirty of these and you were selling them for forty euros, um, you could essentially thirty to one ratio. So very similar to the uh, Germania, excluding your PayPal or your eBay fee. So just keep that in mind. And that brings the video to an end. Obviously, I'm not offering any financial advice whatsoever. This is just a guideline. It's up to you how you want to, you know, if you want to stack that way, you can essentially turn your 18 coins into 19 coins and take the profits from those 18 coins and put that into gold. And that's the whole exercise here as well. But it's also just to show the appreciation of silver coins, um, uh, considering that there's... Um, and say there's negativity in regards to silver and it'll never return your value clearly i've shown otherwise um so thanks again for watching hit the subscribe button uh, let me know in the comments down below if you really uh, thought this video was helpful um will you be considering doing that um i would certainly love to know in the, in the comments down below hit the subscribe button please consider sharing please watch the other content subscribe in the middle and i've got two other videos there and then don't forget the other videos that i've put up in the eye for you to look at. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video.